This is a really cool old camera. In fact, this is STEM before STEM was even thought of. Uh, before the acronym happened a couple of decades ago, uh, cool things like this old Polaroid camera were being made. Uh, science, technology, engineering, and math goes way back, and it'll continue to go in the future. But things like this can be a great way to remind our kids of that fact, that STEM isn't just the phone in their pockets and the robots and the rockets that you're using in your classroom. It's about things that people make uh, to make things better for us each and every day. I can't wait to set this in my classroom and see what kind of questions and, and conversations that it sparks. And even will kids be interested in picking it up and saying, wow, this is, this is even heavier than the phone that I can keep in my pocket. It takes way better pictures than this, but I'd probably say it takes way different pictures than this. But uh, the cool part about this is it's not electronic. It's not digital. It's all mechanical. How this thing pops open and uh, closes. It, everything is about mechanics and levers and pulleys and springs and uh, things like that to adjust. Is it one person, two person, or a landscape type picture to adjust those lenses for distances? Even snapping the picture, popping that down, and then spring loaded, it pops back. You can adjust the film speed, which kids would probably wonder, how would you change film speed? And why was that even a thing back in the day? Or, or even something like this. It's like an Instagram filter before there even was Instagram. These kind of things can spur questions, can get our kids thinking and thinking about things that they can make, things they can improve upon uh, for the future as well. STEM is not something new. Take an opportunity to bring something like this to your classroom uh, to spark some interest in your kids.